Hi, I'm Pat O'Leary with USDA's Office of Communications. Joining us today from USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service, Illinois Field Office in Springfield, is by long distance, state statistician Mark Schleusener. Mark's going to give us a tour of the recently merged NAS Ag Census website so that we can find the new Census of Agriculture data and its associated products with ease when released this April 11th. Mark, hello and welcome. Thank you, Pat. It's good to be with you. Mark, what products in the Census of Agriculture will be available the day of release? Well, on April 11, NAS will have a number of different products available for anyone to see on our website. Let's start with the full reports will be available for each state and the U.S. They are available in PDF and text format. Mark, we should point out the examples you're showing us are from the 2012 Census, but on April 11th, that will update to the 2017 results, right? Yes. And there is a lot of information there. For instance, the Illinois full report for the state and all the counties is about the size of a Chicago phone book. Now, our website uses tables to help you find exactly what you're looking for. If you're after county-level cattle information, a few clicks will get you to just that data. We will also have Quick Stats available. That is our online data query tool. With this, you could generate your own spreadsheet of information from the census. Suppose you wanted the cropland acres for every county in the U.S., you can generate that with just a few clicks and download it to your PC. New this year, we will also have the census data query tool. It's sort of a shortcut, quick stats. We are going to have a few ag atlas maps because we know that a picture is worth a thousand words when describing U.S. agriculture. And we will have a few specialty products available that we call rankings and highlights. On April 11, we'll have two highlights available on demographics and economics, and more will become available throughout the year. In case data users haven't navigated the website recently, can you give us a quick tour of the site and show us where to find the upcoming census data? You bet, Pat. Let's start at the NAS homepage, and that is www.nass.usda.gov. First, notice the slider at the top center of the page. That has a direct link to the Census of Agriculture. Second thing, notice that green navigation bar that goes across the top of the screen. Hover your mouse over the data and statistics area and you will see the quick stats link that I mentioned a while ago. Now mouse over to the publications link and the reports calendar will show up beneath it. That's where you can see the statistics that NAS publishes from all of our surveys. Also, take a look at the map of the U.S. That provides links to contact information for all our state and regional offices, as well as their state-level publications and news releases. Finally, let's finish up by clicking on that Census tab in the green bar. On the left side of the screen is an FAQ link, and if you are new to Census of Agriculture, you may want to spend some time taking a look there. Notice there is a drop-down box for our historical census publications. Below that, there are links to the state and county profiles, which are very popular, and they will be available later this year. Also below that, you'll see the links for our special studies. These are follow-on projects from the Census of Ag, and they include aquaculture, organics, and irrigation. Mark, what kind of help is available if someone wants to double-check a number or is having trouble finding what they need? Well, do this. Hover your mouse over the Contact Us link in that green navigation bar, and that will show you a toll-free number you can use to contact a customer service specialist in Washington, D.C. They will handle your data request, or they may shift it off to a subject matter expert who will get back to you. You can also scroll down to see the directory of regional and state offices. You can contact them directly to see their publications and their news releases. Now I'd like to take a couple of minutes to show you how to use the Quick Stats data tool, and I'm going to try to show how many llamas there are in every county in Illinois. First, I hover over the Data and Statistics tab, and then I'm going to click on the blue arrow for accessing Quick Stats. And what we're going to do is build a query into the great big census database. I'm going to start in the program box and click on Census. That differentiates us from the survey work that NAS does. And then I'm going to go to Animals and Products in the Sector box. My next click will be in the Group box. I click on Specialty. And now in the Commodities, I'm going to click on Llamas. 
and then I'm going to have a new box pop up on the right, and I'm going to have some choices. I'm going to start with inventory in the category box, and now under data item, I'm going to click on inventory. I've got a couple more clicks to go to get exactly what I want. At the geographic level, I want to specify county totals for llama inventory, and now I'm going to have to tell it which state to go into. I just want Illinois. And right now I've got a query built that would actually do all four of the recent census publications. If I don't click on any counties whatsoever, I'm going to get them all, and that's what I want. The last thing I need to do is under select time, in this example, I'm going to select the 2012 Census of Agriculture. The last thing I'll do is click on the Get Data button, and I should have 102 pieces of information, one for each county in Illinois, the top line shows that llamas were not published in DeWitt County. That's why we put that D in parentheses. The basic reason is there's probably just one or two llama producers in that county, and we can't show the data. It would be like giving away the data for one farm. Let's go down a few, and in McLean County, there are 28 llamas. Now, where would someone sign up to be counted or submit questions to be considered for addition in the next census? As hard as NAS tries to count every farm in the U.S., maybe your farm is new and got skipped over in the last census. Go back to the NAS homepage and then scroll down to the bottom where there is a sign up to be counted link and you can tell us a little bit about your farm. We'll make sure you're included in future data collection activities. And now let's go back to that census tab one more time. This is where you could, for instance, submit a question to NAST for consideration in the next census of agriculture. Suppose that you think a few more questions should be asked about a particular commodity, this is the place to do it. One more thing I'd like to show, there is a link that says your census, your story. There are some testimonials in there from people who use the data to help the profitability of their operation or their research activities. You can read those and you can contribute your own story as well. Thank you, Mark Schleusener from USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service, joining us long distance from Springfield, Illinois. My pleasure, Pat, and I'd like to say thank you to all the farmers and ranchers that responded to the Census of Agriculture. It is your voice, your future, and your opportunity. Okay, and thanks for your time and watching today. So long from Washington, D.C.